See this fancy statue? For a guy named Loki, he's never really been low-key, has he? Looks like the god of mischief has finally snatched his dad's throne after, like, a thousand failed attempts. How? By banishing his biggest threat and biggest brother, Thor, to a distant timeline. Oh, wait, is that the faint rumble of thunder? Ah, can't be. Sound doesn't travel in space. Anyway, here's to the new king of Igsgard. May the Ten Realms prosper under his reign. Fun fact, every alternate reality is connected by the threads of the web of life and destiny. And at the web's center, the Master Weaver is trying to hold things together in the face of a time stream entanglement. He banished his apprentice, Spider Zero, from the shrine when they stopped seeing eye to eye. Now, Spider Zero and her little friend here have to fend for themselves in the dystopian Tokyo of the year 2099. But don't worry, kid. In a multiverse this big, you're never really alone. And don't worry, little guy. I will meet you. Oh, this time of year is always special to me, since it's been so long since I first got to share my story with the multiverse. Honestly, I've lost count of how many years I've been searching the cosmos for tasty terrestrial treats. But my dad says I'm at an age where I need to start accepting my destiny as the daughter of the Devourer. <laughs> Who listens to Galactus anyway, though? Other than his weird silver friend with a surfboard. It may be time to accept my fate, but not before I have some fun. Who's with me? I'll bring the snacks. 